Everything inside this carburetor is exceptionally clean. I'm almost betting it hadn't been that long ago uh, while the vehicle was running that uh, they actually put a carburetor kit in it. So I'm gonna clean everything up, scrub on the exterior of it just to kind of make it look better, put the carburetor back together and we're gonna see if it actually runs on the truck. Jet? What's a jet do? It restricts or allows so much fuel to go through the engine. Uh huh. What is that part over there, that gold part? Um, it's the float. It is the float. What does it do? I don't know. You don't know? That also... Does the same thing? Well, no, but it regulates. Don't bend it up, okay? Oh, it no. regulates how much fuel can go down inside of the bowl of the carburetor. Yep, how did you know that was called a float? Cause I saw the big yellow things. Yeah, and you knew that was the float? Yeah. Have you ever rebuilt a carburetor before? No. How old are you? Four and a half. Four and a half years old and you're already rebuilding carburetors. Your first carburetor rebuild, huh? Mm-hmm, this is my first chance. Yeah, well that's really cool. What's this do? I'm super proud of you, that is the choke. Uh-huh, and then when the engine starts it just does this. Just does that. When the engine's cold on a carbureted engine, sometimes you need to choke some of the air off so it gets more fuel, so the engine warms up better. And once it's warm, it'll run better. You ready to put this thing back together? Yeah. Give me a five. You got it? So Justin called and said that they almost have the brakes done on the truck. They need just a few more parts, so we're gonna run out there. But first we're gonna stop off and get the exhaust bent and then we're gonna head out there we just got here at my neighbor Dennis's shop Mo River tire he's got an exhaust bender so let's go inside and bend the exhaust up for this truck
I think this is going to get us at a good starting point. Um, we're going to cut this top flange off right here and uh, just move that over to this one here and I'm going to keep this exhaust long down there until we get it mounted up on the truck. That way I can get a muffler placement and all that. We, we did get a, a, a six inch round muffler. So the other night when I was out at Justin's house, we were working on the truck a little bit, uh, crawling underneath of this thing, and I noticed that there was uh, some stickers on the oil pan. It, it actually said something about uh, use new lifters or warranty will be voided. The other sticker had mentioned something about a harmonic balancer, and I believe it might have said something about timing as well. And the whole bottom of the engine was, was painted, the bottom block was painted uh, green. The head was not painted, there was a side cover on it, not painted, and actually it was just bare metal with a little bit of rust on it, and of course the valve cover wasn't painted either. So we got to thinking that I almost bet the last owner put a short block in it. I mean, this is just me guessing that the engine was replaced with the reman engine. Maybe they redid the head in-house, who knows, maybe the head was okay, they put it all back together.